Hey guys, it is Courtney and Steven with Leviathan Snakes, your 2022 Snakes in the Fat Man 15 Minutes of Lame Contest Champions. We picked up 12 snakes this year, which is better than last year. Still a lot of animals. Uh, and I just wanted to, we just wanted to go over our top five each. My number five spot is our visual Ultramel 100% Hetpied Female Liza. And I'm stoked about her. So we got her back in Daytona in August. We got her as a hatchling and she was an amazing deal. And we're super, super excited about Ultramel, Ultramel Pieds, and specifically the Sunset Ultramel Pied Project. So we we don't have very much Ultramel. In fact, that the only other Ultramel animals that we have are our double het sunset Ultramels from our collaborative breeding project that we did this year with Troy from Balls and Strikes. And what this girl is doing for us is that being 100 or visual Ultramel 100% het pied, we can pair her to a double het sunset Ultramel and get hopefully visual Ultramels that are 50% Het sunset, 50% het pied, and right now we can test to see whether or not they are 100% het pied, and hopefully by the time that she is up to size, we can also test for sunset because down the road we really, really want to work the Ultramel Sunset Pied project for one of our triple recessive projects. So she is critical to it, and we are stoked to have her. My number five is Naira. Naira is a super mystic girl. She's really, really pretty. She's extremely sweet and she's already given us three eggs and we picked her up this year. One reason that I am so excited about Naira is because she's our mystery clutch. She's going to have um, the first clutch of 2023 for us because she's those eggs are due to hatch January 8th and we have no idea what's going to be in these eggs because we paired her to do two different males. Did not see a lock with either of those males. It was a really bizarre clutch with like a lot of slugs i think like five slugs i don't remember so there's a chance it's par though we have no idea what we're gonna see we're either gonna see bells and mystic potions banana asphalt mystics or super mystics we have no idea and it's really exciting to see what we get so my number four spot is our orange dream yellow belly visual clown female simone and she also is possible red stripe so Bob, when he saw her in the egg, we got her from Bob Vu of Bob's Balls. When he saw her in the egg, he thought that for sure she was an orange dream, yellow belly, red stripe clown. But when she came out, her head stamp was not the red stripe head stamp where you have like the headphones and everything. So instead, because it looked, he couldn't for sure say like, yes, this is red stripe. If she had had the headphone head stamp, he'd be like, oh yeah, red stripe all day long. He labeled her as possible red stripe. And overall, we didn't necessarily get her for the red stripe. We got her because one, we had terrible luck with our clown clutches this year. We had one clutch that was a pastel Mojave 100% het clown female who did not prove out to be het clown. There was nine eggs and no clowns and it was also just a disaster. So we got her, we got Simone because we wanted to hold back a clown female from that clutch and because we didn't get any clown females from that clutch, we decided that we were going to buy one instead and buy one with more genes than we possibly could have made like at this stage that we are in right now. And I'm super excited about her having yellow belly in a visual clown because I love the freeway project. I know it's one of Courtney's favorite projects and I'm super, super excited about making freeway clowns. So in 2023, we hope to make some powerful asphalt het clown combos. And if we can get a male from there and pair it to her when she's up to size, I would love for all of the different possibilities that we could get with those freeway clown combos from Simone. So she comes in at number four four for me. My number four is actually one of the last snakes that we got this year. It is Lindor. He is named after Lindor Chocolate because he is a chocolate cinnamon het clown boy. Really excited to see what he um, produces in the future for us. Love chocolate. Ch Troy from Balls and Strikes actually is who got me interested in chocolate, seeing how beautiful those snakes are. I had never really seen them in person, so cannot wait to pair him into to animals in the future. Cannot wait to see what he produces for us. Number three, and this is the female that we have not shown on the channel at all yet. And I have been wanting to get into this project for probably a year, probably more than a year I've been wanting to get into this project. But we finally bought into the Lace Project and we did it with this girl, Nyx. And she is a Lace 
yellow belly, 100% het for clown female. And I'm stoked with it. So she is a very, very high expression lace. It looks awesome. And this is one of the things that I was really looking for because lace can be a subtle jean on its own. So I wanted to get something where you had no doubt that like, yes, there was lace in that animal. So she has lace yellow belly and she looks incredible. We cannot wait to make some lace clown combos and very obviously because it's me and whatnot i want to get lace into sunset so i don't know exactly how we're going to go about doing it right now but with her being het clown i wouldn't be surprised if we try to work lace into the sunset clown project rather than just into the sunset project so we are stoked to have her and she comes in at number three for me my number three is prada she is our super banana sunset girl she doesn't look particularly incredible as far as like pattern and coloration and stuff like that but her being a super banana and a visual sunset every single like baby that she produces when paired to a visual sunset is going to be a banana sunset and that is amazing for us like cannot wait to see that once um some of our holdbacks grow up and we have uh you know cinnamon uh, um chocolate red stripe yellow belly males that we can pair to her it, they're gonna be incredible i also absolutely love that we got her at like almost ready to breed like that is one of the best pickups we've ever done cannot wait to see the babies she produces um this year they're gonna be all banana sunsets she's been paired to our boy aries already they've had a lock that we have finally seen um but next year I think we're going to get some even more incredible stuff. So excellent pickup for us. Love her. She's incredible. My number two was actually the very first animal that we bought this year. And we bought her way back in February. I think we actually paid for her in January of last year. But we picked her up in February right after we had our first holdback of the season, which was Ellie. So because she was our very first one and we weren't necessarily trying to plan to buy a whole lot of snakes this year which didn't really happen because we ended up buying 12 snakes but we were thinking that we were going to go like really big get like one really big purchase and kind of have it there so this is actually the most expensive snake that we've ever bought and she is our girl prada who is a super banana visual sunset female and she's breeder size so we are stoked for her she has been locking with our visual sunset male aries right now which means that if she ends up going she was about 15 millimeter follicles last time we ultrasounded her if she ends up going we're going to get an entire clutch every single baby will be a banana visual sunset and we are so happy for that we are so stoked again she's still at 15 millimeters it's still going to be a bit before she goes if she goes this year but with her being breeder size with her being a visual sunset female with her being a super banana it kind of eliminated a lot of the odds option of like getting a het female or anything like that and we are just so happy to have her and we're so happy to have her as part of our family my number two would be alabaster he's one of the first snakes that we got this year because we got him at tinley in march um we saw him we saw a very similar similar animal at bob vu's table and we almost got it did not pull the trigger and luckily we found this boy over at slither serpents we absolutely love him he's so beautiful and he is going to produce fantastic babies he is a banana yellow belly calico and chi boy and we are going to be pairing him a little bit this year and even more next year uh we love campfire and bonfire so he's got everything except for cinnamon plus he's got yellow belly we are so thrilled to have picked this boy up and we cannot wait to see what he produces number one spot my number one is Mayru. Mayru. he is our niala clown male that we had imported from bpm in south africa we fell in love with the morph when we saw Billy from Mutation Creations posting the Niala Banana Clown, I think it was a Niala Banana Yellow Belly Clown. And it was just wild, it was crazy. We were so, so excited. So we got him, we're super excited for his pairs this year. And we found out in our last video from last week, if you wanna check it out, we'll do it as the end card. But that we are gonna end up working the Niala into the Sunset Project by pairing him to our Leopard Sunset female this year. We had them imported through Bushveld uh, here in the US and then sh they shipped him down to us. He is stunning, beautiful. He was 
um, a pickup that we had planned from the beginning of the year and obviously it took a lot longer to get him than we would an animal that had just already been in the US uh, so it was well worth the wait he is so beautiful we are so excited for him to start pairing for us we would absolutely love to have some more Nyala clown babies this next year I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please like comment subscribe and we will see you next time